Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In this video, we'll see about the autoload.php file in Coding Nighter. What is the use of autoload.php and how can we? So let's go to the coding area and here, if you see that if you want to use a particular helper or any libraries so first you have to load a particular helper and then you can use the functions inside this helper or in case of suppose the database you have to load the database and then only you can use the methods of that database so suppose if I just comment it and try to execute a particular page you can see that it gives me an error in the model right so get where method is undefined and everything is undefined so in order to use it we have to load a particular library or a helper and then we can use it so autoload.php is basically a file which is used to tell CodeIgniter to load certain packages libraries drivers helpers configs etc automatically when the website loads so there is no need to specify the no need to specify the load statement like to load a library load database and etc so you can directly go there and just in the library if you type database and you just remove this line from here the things will work fine as we have already loaded the database libraries so autoload.php is a file which tells the code which tells coding nighter to load certain libraries or database automatically and we can use the functions inside those methods or classes and uh, throughout our projects so suppose if i want to auto load this html function so i'll go in the html area and i know that it's an helper so in that helper i'll write html and if i remove this load file it won't affect me anymore but if I have I have not specified that thing in the helper and I'm trying to accessing it it will give me an error as I have removed this lines of code from here also so this is the use of autoload.php and now suppose you can also specify this for the models now if I just comment this model and I try to access it it gives me an error now if I want to auto load this user model I'll just copy the name from here and go in the model section and I'll just specify the key which is user underscore model the name of our file and when we refresh we can see that it's working fine I hope you understand the use of autoload.php. If you have any doubt, please mention below in the comment zone. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you like, subscribe and comment below if you have any doubts.